This is a swan. Not smiley face. Swan or Willy? <laughs> Hello GQ. My name is Jonathan Bailey and these are my 10 essential items. You ready for number one? The books. My two essential books at the moment. One is Matt Haig's The Comfort Book. This book is like a Bible of really lovely little tidbits to help you through what could be a stressful time. Pandemic, very helpful. Oh, here's one, for instance. <laughs> Page 147, clarity. You are here and that is enough. This is something that offers a very uh, lovely amount of relief and it's like a cuddle. And then the second one is a play text of Cock. Next March, we'll be opening this play with Taron Edgerton. It's going to be directed by Marion Elliott, who is brilliant. And this play, Cock, is small but well-formed. I sort of worry a lot about learning the lines, but I feel like if I've got that on my person, then I sort of feel by osmosis it will just come in. So if it's in my pocket, I feel like I'm doing the work. I keep my cock in my pocket. Measly. Wherever I go, I have a massive stash of muesli. It's only sort of recently that I've remembered my dad used to take muesli wherever he went as well. So it's some sort of genetic predisposition to love the oats and the pulses. I'd take an almond milk and an oat milk, but basically I'm not really fussy about the milk part or the bowl or the spoon, but the muesli I'm hyper fussy about, and that's the one. I particularly like this one because it's got <laughs> desiccated coconut in it, which really lifts the top notes and the bottom notes. <laughs> so it can be sort of like a pudding, it can be a starter, a main course, or it could be a seven course taster menu. For my next essential item, this is my Keith Herring Polaroid camera. There's oats in the lens, <laughs> there's muesli in my camera on set for Bridgerton. They sort of had a rule that I took quite seriously that you weren't allowed your mobile phones on set to take pictures, so I thought maybe this is the way to Go analog and, and, you know, beat the bosses. I've got one left. Are you ready? There's loads of muesli bottles. <laughs> I think the thing about Polaroids is that you've got them in the flesh. And actually, I miss that about photos. These, you know, you can pop on the wall and they're really satisfying. As you'll see soon, in about two minutes and 10 seconds. This is definitely an essential item because it has my keys attached. It was a gift from Lara and Lauren, like the best team a man can get. As a wrap gift, they bought me this. You'll have to guess what it is. This, <laughs> this is a swan. <laughs> swan quickly became the code word for in the face of panic gliding through. There he is, a little smiley face. Swan or Willy? <laughs> I think some people are born with skincare and some have skincare thrust upon them. And I think I'm the latter. And I've got two products to share with you. Hyaluronic acid. It's been described as a glass of water for the face, despite the fact it's got acid. I don't know what it means. It sounds terrifying, but yeah, it took me about six months to learn how to pronounce it. And now that I've got it, I just keep saying it to everyone. Hyaluronic? Hyaluronic? Hyaluronic. So I'd say that first, followed by my all-time favourite, Emma Hardy. Emma, I don't know where you are, but you're bloody golden. It's like a superfood for the skin. It gives you a little glow. And actually, every product that Emma Hardy does is unrivaled, I think. You know, golden by nature and in design. This next one, it's actually broken, I can see. And it's been broken for a while, but it's actually some bath salts. <laughs> I think there's a general theme in my essential items of um, self-care. This is Heckel's Stress Fix Soaking Bath Salts, and actually was bought for me by Simone Ashley, AKA Kate Sharma, Series 2 of Bridgerton. They sort of smell unbelievable. Lavender and sort of eucalyptus, I'd say. I love a bath, always have, always will. If I could have brought a bathtub, that would have been the essential item. This is a worry pebble. I do literally take this everywhere. 
and you can just sort of rub it when it comes you down. It used to be massive, it used to be a boulder. <laughs> No, it's tiny, so I've only got a few more weeks left in this one. I think it was back at school. The teachers were always like, you just need something to focus your uh, energies. You keep it with your character on set. The thing is, you know, with Regency outfits, there's not really much space for anything, apart from the boots. Everyone keeps their phones in their boots in Bridgeton. Don't tell anyone. Music is such a massive part of my life. So these are Master Dynamic in-ear headphones. Actually a birthday present from Ted Sarandos, head of Netflix. <laughs> that I'll always leave them out on the side on charge, right by the door, and then they'll be the like, last thing I take off as I go in. And the first thing I, you know what I mean. My playlist at the moment is pretty eclectic. Venga Boys, Moona is quite high up there, and Big Wild, Steven Sondheim. It'd be actually Destiny's Child. I recently got asked under pressure by a friend what album I should play, and I just screamed <laughs> through the door, Destiny's Child's second album. So yeah, they're always around. <laughs> My next two essential items, fanny packs. <laughs> this is kind of grubby, because this is one that's still very much in use. It's got some dental floss in it, and some shells. Oh, it's got some euros, and... And a bill. See? And then this is a fanny pack, but it's also my favourite North Face jacket. This will be like my festival, festival fanny. With raspberry flavour vitamin C electrolytes. Really crusty. Oh, didn't, didn't prep this. <laughs> and for the ultimate hand cosy, my mittens which I wear all the time. It's super cosy. And they have a little flap, so you can, you know, you can do day-to-day -day chores whilst knowing that you can just sort of snuggle them up and swaddle them. Freedom within comfort, which is the dream. Great. Oh, the Polaroid. Oh, yeah. Can you see, can you get a picture on that? You thought it was an intimate affair, but there's actually 12 people in the room. I've been Jonathan Bailey, and you've been looking at my essential 10 items, also known as a self-care kit. Someone just screamed. <laughs> she needs a worried stone quick. And a bowl of muesli.